Hey Alex, I just started my first 9 to 5 job. It's really more like a 7 to 6 because of traveling on crowded public transportation. It makes it difficult to work out and eat properly because of frequent overtime. Feel too tired to go to the gym at night because I just want to sleep so I can be less tired the next day. What can I do until I find a better job? Now this may sound very strange, but I'm going to recommend nonetheless. You take public transportation, right? And it's pretty crowded? Okay. Why don't you do push-ups while you're in the metro? As crazy as that sounds, it's not illegal. Excuse me, bitch, I'm trying Excuse to do push-ups here. Excuse me, you cannot do push-ups on the train, sir. Get away from me, you stupid insane. Oh, You're allowed to do that. You'll get some strange looks. But it's totally doable. So you can do calisthenics while you're going home. Or maybe every hour you could do a set of push-ups. There's options. Or during your lunch break, you can hit a mini little workout like that. Yo guys, I'm eating some lentil soup. This shit is so good. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at that. Oh yeah. It's fucking good. I'm gonna eat this right now. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. This guy moaned at least this loud. Oh! First of all, you're in the wrong frame of mind. Are you doing this for women? You're trying to build a body because you want women. To me, that's not what you should be thinking about. Now, obviously, big glutes will most definitely help you in attracting them. That's, that is not an exaggeration. It's the absolute truth. I've been assaulted by them. Uh, by like they, they will approach me and grab my ass. I've had that happen to me a number of times. I'm sure that you guys who have strong posterior chains, your strong squatters, strong deadlifters, you know what I'm talking about. Women love glutes. I even made a full video about that, okay? Now, why should you train your glutes besides the whole women thing? Well, here's the thing. So, there's only benefits they can get. It's great for athletic performance. It's great for uh, aesthetics, if you will. And guess what? Women fucking love it. They love it, man. When you have big ass glutes and you're walking down the street. Actually, I'll tell you something. Real fucking talk. I've been assaulted by these women. They grab my ass, bro. They grab my fucking ass. I swear to God this happens to me. And for those of you who have big glutes, I'm sure this happened to you as well. But that's the number one thing. Uh, women, they're gonna, they're literally grabbing my ass. I swear to fucking God. I swear to God. So, and I know from personal experience that women love glutes. I've had women grab my ass. I've had women come up to me and say, you got a nice ass. In fact, in high school, some chicks, I used to hear them in the background, they would say, oh, that's the guy with the nice ass. I'm telling you, anybody who does a lot of squats, a lot of deadlifts, anybody who has a well-developed posterior chain, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. These women assault you, and dudes like it too. And the glutes for giving you that pop, you know? And we can, uh, we can also argue about like thrusting power, right? If we look at biology, Maybe that's the reason why uh, glutes are very attractive. If you have that, like that big ass. Hey everybody, yeah. it's Jason Blah here. You and today I thought I had Dory's pageantry, fifty thousand gold. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> They're really trying to scam me of my hard-earned money. You know how many raids I have to do to get this shit. Oh. Anyway, I think uh, rate of force development training is kind of worthless. Hold on, let me buy this item. <laughs> oh, he a hard bargain. Yeah, I do, eh? Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, I believe that if you could just get strong, that you're gonna be really fast. Shut the fuck up, noob! <laughs> I'm telling you, man, cheat curls work for building your biceps. Strict, slow and control, concentration curl, 20 pound dumbbells doesn't do that much. My biceps are extremely stubborn. 
Yet, I found methods that work. So I'm convinced that it's going to help you too. If you have really bad arm genetics or you've been trying all kinds of conventional approaches and it didn't do anything for you, try out the tips in this video. So first of all, the number one thing I can advise you to do is to get strong at one-arm chin-ups. Yeah, never said this was gonna be a novice video. This is for the diehards that are really, really having trouble here. Welcome back to the gym. Since you guys are curious about my arm training, see, which is a really awesome feeling, so it just makes sense. And when you're doing the tricep part, thing as you're gonna see by the weights, all right? This is only 20 pounds. But notice the form. I'm pin ready, give it a shot. It basically changes the strength curve. So most people, they're used to doing hammer curls with dumbbells. Well, try with a cable. You'll feel the peak resistance. Just doing all those pushdowns wasn't cutting it, okay? I feel like my biceps were responding very well to the bro arms, but not this, okay? More cable curls. Like I said, guys, I freaking love this. The cable curl, you can feel it more at the top because you're squeezing throughout the entire range of motion. And it's like a straight pushdowns. We're just modifying the approach a little bit, okay? So what I find interesting is that the weights are constantly getting... Again, I'm using really, really good form. This is 25 pounds and I plan on adding every single time. And just so you know, my game plan, right? Essentially, next time I do this workout, I'm gonna hit four sets for every exercise. Then time after that, five sets look bigger in this video. Am I just imagining things or do my biceps look fuller? Are my triceps looking a bit bigger? What exactly is going on? Good to blast your arms. All right, so we got more curls. We ain't done yet, man. Still five minutes left of this video. So the machine forms, but it didn't really help with the bias back then. So now without any rest, row push down, okay? Look at the stack on that. Again, one of the things I've discovered is that when you're using different workout, and in some cases we're doing drying sets. All right, so now we got the reverse curl. Usually I superset it with the hammer curl, but I didn't feel that was necessary this time. Uh, one of my sets I do with the thumb over. And now we got the floor curl. This is a secret exercise that will change your life, man. I used to do a lot of these back in the day, and I was reminded of these when I was watching some Greg Plitt videos. And you'll see another one that I got from him later, too. Essentially, the guillotine curl. I learned these from Greg Plitt, man. May he rest in peace. That man truly changed my life, man. Uh, the reason why I started doing this again, because I've been... And then here's what I'm doing, right? Nucleus overload. This was my 10th time doing this which means I've been training every single day. Essentially, I do 100 curls at home. Usually, I break it up into sets of 20 and 15, and then I do sets of 10 at the end, okay? First of all, I can't really say that it's improving my measurement that much. In fact, it's pretty much the exact same thing as usual. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna give you an answer to that. Shit, nigga, I love me some KFC, you know what I'm saying? But fucking, motherfucking, I already know it. We fit the Nellis, we fuck the in the ass, dog. Shit, nigga, please. Flashback. I get accused of shit anyway. I already get called a Nazi. Are you a Nazi? I don't think of myself as one. I don't even really consider, I don't even consider myself racist. I don't even get into those arguments with people because to me, I look at the different ideologies out there and it doesn't matter. Nazism is gone. It's pretty much dead as far as traditional Nazism goes. But communism is fucking alive and well. And the far left still promotes communism while while denouncing something like Nazism. End of flashback. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I see you need to, you need to turn that shit off. Like, if I heard you listen to that in the gym, I might draw down on you because I think you're a terrorist. So I don't even know what he's doing, but but, but I know that I make money off of him. Yeah, and that's what, that's what matters. Well, I know. And and so he helps me make money. He He's obsessed and weird as fuck. And I'd probably shoot him if I met him in person because he's a crazy stalker. I'd be able to probably just legally shoot his ass and just get rid of that stupid you.
Coach, you gotta give me some tips. What I'm ugly as I'm ugly as fuck. Tip. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't fucking matter. I mean, when I go to girls, I'm ugly just... as fuck. All right. Nah, you don't listen, understand, listen. coach. You have seen me though, right? I'm not a particularly good looking dude. Although I do have girls who tell me I am. But the, the point is, I'm not I'm not the most handsome dude in the world. I'm not six foot seven with a with a ten out of ten face and perfect hair. I have no trouble getting laid. I mean everyone knows I have two ex wives. I have a, a ex stripper, ex girlfriend. Yeah. I have no trouble finding girls. All right. Here's your magic secret. You need to just get comfortable talking to women. That's it. I'm not really that good looking, bro. Well, you have, uh, yeah, you don't have guns and you have yeah, too many can. Muslims for my table.